What's up, everybody? It's your boy Jelly Bean Killer here. First off, I want to give a shout out to Serena Fair. I hope you. I hope I said your last name right, Serena. Um, she's our newest subscriber, and she was the last one to comment on our last video, uh, which was Fuel Weaver. Um, she was commenting to my question of what was your hardest boss to fight, and she was like, definitely uh, Fuel Weaver. I had two friends with me too, and we had to reset about three times before we finally got him. He healed so much the first time because we were too slow to get the small creatures on the ground. And she's talking about the woven uh, shadow creatures that spawn. That boy be eating them things for 400 HP each every time he eats one. But yeah, I definitely agree with you, Serena. Thank you so much for subscribing as well. Um, but yeah, I will start doing that again guys. I know I had stopped doing that a while ago where I was doing shout outs and Shout outing um, our newest subscribers and our latest comment So I'm gonna start doing that again. So at the beginning of every video We'll get back to that shouting out our newest subscriber welcome them to the jelly fam the proper way and also um, The best comment from the last video So welcome on in Serena But I want to go ahead and update you guys on why I had missed the last two weeks I have been on a good little um, pace of putting one video out a week, but recently we had a little incident where um, the upstairs bathroom toilet overflowed while I was at work. So it was overflowing for like eight hours straight. Nobody was here. And uh, yeah, it leaked all the way down through the ceiling of the main level um, directly to the main level. Uh, it was a complete disaster because it was basically flowing for eight hours straight with no one turning the water off or no one here to do anything. So when I got here, it just so happens that that bathroom was directly over my PC area. So it was all the water went right directly on my PC, both my monitors, a little tiny bit got on my PS4. How my PS4 was set up though, luckily it was off to the side. It wasn't directly on my desk, so it didn't get drenched. But everything else, my PC, my monitors, some of my controllers all got drenched. Um, so I haven't cut on my PC. That happened about two weeks ago. That happened, I think like October 8th or 9th, somewhere in there. And yeah, I haven't even turned on my PC since because I wanted to give it time to try. I got the parts sitting out individually hoping that if I get them all dry and let them you know let it take a while before I turn it on again that I'm just praying to the Lord that it'll work so I can um, get back to making some great YouTube videos for you guys but I just wanted to update you guys to let you guys know that's why I hadn't been streaming like I was like I'm you know Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday mornings and that's why I hadn't been putting up videos like I usually do once a week but thank you everybody for supporting me that thank you everybody who's been coming to the streams in the past and we will get back on track i do plan on going to north carolina this weekend so i won't be streaming uh saturday and sunday morning but starting thursday the upcoming thursday uh morning friday saturday sunday we'll get back on schedule so thursday morning friday morning saturday morning sunday morning around 8 a.m eastern time we'll start getting back on schedule with our streams on twitch but i appreciate you guys coming through this was my first attempt ever at trying to fight dragonfly with wanda um it wasn't my first time playing wanda though but it did take me a little minute when i brought her into this world to get set up with all the watches i had to get fragments which i sadly had turned just about all of it to thule site from the last room ruins clear i did luckily i was able to go into the, to the ruins and get a little just enough to make the uh the stuff that i have in my inventory so it was a, it was quite a bit of fragments that i was able to find down there we had to go through some monkeys and creatures down there but you know you know how it goes but we we're able to do that so that we got set up for this fight and the one thing i noticed about wanda that i made a that was a crucial mistake in my last time I played Wanda was the, the type of armor I'm using. So as you can see here, I'm using Nightmare Armor and it's so, so good on her for anybody who doesn't know any type of Nightmare or Shadow weapons. So that means the Dark Sword as well. Um, they're buffed on Wanda. So the armor, uh, it has great damage reduction on her. It's about the only armor you should really ever be using that's on the chest slot. Um, sadly, dual sight armor and stuff like that doesn't count as shadow armor, so you don't get any increased damage reduction with those. But yeah, you don't want to be using wooden, you don't want to be using log suit armor, you don't want to be using football helmets, not really 
just football helmet solely or a log suit solely, you don't want to be doing that because every hit you're going to be aging from in between like 7 to 10, maybe even more depending on what you're getting hit by. It, it's pretty crazy. And if you're fighting at old age, that's basically one to two hits and you're dead. So yeah, you always want to be using this nightmare armor and of course dark swords if not dark swords her alarm clock which is obviously the preferred weapon because of this range and it's crazy damage i'm pretty sure right here at her old age i'm hitting dragonfly for about 143 damage per swing so we were able to clean up dragonfly really really fast and i was even able to dodge some of his hits coming in from his larva pool phase with my backstep watch so for anybody who doesn't know, when you fight Dragonfly, it's, it's damn near impossible to dodge his hits when he, whenever he's moving. Whenever he's hitting you and moving at the same time, you can't dodge those hits, but with Wanda's backstab watch, you can. I think as a regular character, you can also use an eye staff to like hit him from range and then bait him to swing. Because if you hit him from range, he'll pause and stop moving and you can go in and bait the swing and then get out like that. So you can also do that with regular characters. But as you see, I cleaned him up in like five minutes flat. Crazy damage from Wanda. I'm loving trying her out so far. So hopefully we can... Uh, do some more bosses in the future. I plan on doing few of your next so I hope you guys are around to see that video Appreciate you guys coming through and I will see you guys later